Hey everybody, my name is Austin Harley and today we're going to be talking about the top reasons why you should become a real estate agent or realtor in 2020. So without further ado, I want to jump right into this video. After you smash that like button, don't forget to do that and consider subscribing to this channel if real estate interests you in general. Without further ado, if you don't know who I am, go ahead and check out this video after you watch this one. I'll leave it in the link in the description down below. I've been a real estate agent for the past four years, just opened my real estate brokerage. Real estate has completely changed my life, but today we're going to be talking about the top reasons why you should become a real estate agent in 2020. So let's jump right into it. The very first reason, which is probably the most popular reason for people to become licensed in real estate or just get into real estate in general, regardless of what you're doing, is because you don't have to be tied to a boss or a nine to five. Now, I'm not going to give you the whole entrepreneurial script because I'm sure if you're clicking on this video in the first place, you have some interest. But one of the biggest things I'll say is that yes, you don't have a nine to five hour, but you are going to have to work a lot of hours and that's in self-education. A lot of people don't realize this, but the very first year you get licensed in real estate, you're going to be completely left in dark, not knowing what you're doing. And so you need to use all the time possible. So really, instead of a nine to five, you need to use like a 6 a.m. to an 8 p.m., which is way more hours to be able to just self-educate yourself, host classes, go meet with clients, make mistakes, learn from mistakes, make more mistakes, <laughs> learn from more mistakes, and then ultimately become the best person you can at being a realtor so that you can make more money and become more successful and make systems and become a better agent in general. And that's gonna continue for the first few years of your real estate career. And even to this day, being a real estate broker, I'm still learning stuff every single day. The law is consistently changing, brokerages are consistently changing, forms are changing, contracts are changing. You always need to stay up to date. So even though that whole, you know, I wanna escape from a nine to five job, the reality of it is you're gonna be working more than a nine to five job. When you're a real estate agent or a realtor, that that's gonna consume your entire life. Now, not to dwell too much negativity on that because being a realtor is an awesome career and most of it doesn't really feel like work, at least for me, because you're doing things like negotiating, which is really, really exciting. And on the bright side from that negotiating, you can produce massive amounts of commission, 10,000, 20,000, even 30,000 plus in some areas. So if you're money hungry or your reason why is to better and help people understand real estate in general and just generally help people to buy and sell homes, then you're really going to be blindsided by the amount of work that's entailed into being a realtor. And you're going to be doing more of what you love in general. And to touch up on a little of that no boss thing, there really still is no boss, but you do kind of have your boss always in the background, which is your income. Because think about it, if you just sit around and do nothing all day, your boss is gonna yell at you. But if you sit around and do nothing all day, your income is gonna kind of go down and yell at you. So either way, you still kind of do have a boss. It's just, you gotta work your own hours and do your own thing. Enough dwelling on that. The second reason why you should become a real estate agent in 2020 is because you're gonna become self-employed. And what that means is you're gonna have a ton of tax write-offs that you can take advantage of. With the very most essential one, you're now considered a real estate professional in the eyes of the IRS, which means you get a ton of tax write-offs on rental properties that you have now or that you get in the future. You can also write off things like mileage, car depreciation, gas, clothes, food, anything of that sort. Now again, check with your CPA, don't hold my word to it because I am not a licensed accountant, but you really can take advantage of your income and manipulate things so that you can maximize on tax write-offs and get the most money back or not have to pay the most in general whenever it comes time for your tax bill. Which leads us to the third reason why you should become a real estate agent in 2020, and that's because you're gonna make money on homes that you buy. So you know whenever you go out and normally would hire a realtor to help you find a house, and buy a house. Well, the way that that real estate agent gets paid is from the seller. The seller has a pre-negotiated commission that's posted on the MLS most of the time either at around two and a half or three percent in commission and the seller at once closing dishes out that commission from the equity of their home to pay your buyer agent that you hired. Now, if you become a real estate license, then you are the buyer agent and the buyer, you literally get paid. So the seller literally pays you to buy their house. Sounds crazy, but you can use that towards your closing costs, a portion of your down payment, or you can purely just pocket that money and use it towards renovations or anything else you want to in your life. And the fourth and final reason why you should become a real estate agent in 2020 is because you're gonna develop a ton of amazing skills. I don't even have any good skills. What do you mean? You know, like, nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, 
computer hacking skills. Now I got licensed when I was young. I was 21 when I got licensed. It was the absolute best decision I've ever made. I quickly learned the value of a company they just have none. They don't care at all for you. They would let you go in a heartbeat. And so because of that, I understood that I need to start creating my own income. I need to start working at my own rate of income in my own time. And because of that, I quickly learned how to run a small business, how to do marketing, how to sell services, how to negotiate, how to be professional in front of people. You're a jack of all trades when you're an entrepreneur and without giving you that whole entrepreneur spiel, you really are going to learn a ton of new skills that not a lot of other industries will teach you. Now, if you're curious about becoming a real estate agent, but maybe you're not sure how to make that transition from your full-time job to be become a part-time agent and then a full-time agent, go ahead and check out this video right here because I talk exactly how I did it, how I tripled, quadrupled my income in less than three years, just becoming a real estate agent and working my butt off. But you can do it too, I promise you. It's not unachievable. There's a ton of top producing agents and it all has to do with just sales. Now, one thing I do wanna to touch up on because I think there's a little bit of misconception on this in the first place, real estate sales is completely different than your normal quote unquote retail sales because you're not selling a product, you're selling a service, helping someone buy a property or helping someone sell a property or lease a property, that's completely different. So it all boils down to your knowledge, which going back to the very first point, your nine to five needs to be extended to at least a 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. to be able to cram as much information in your head so that you can make more sales and thus make more commission. And that's not a discouragement to say that if you're in sales, you shouldn't do real estate and you need to re-completely learn everything. Because naturally, if you're a salesperson, then you're gonna be able to just sell anything regardless if it's your services or a product. And that's not a discouragement to people who are not in sales because trust me, there's so many different ways you can make money in real estate. For example, if you don't even like becoming a buyer agent or a listing agent, you can go into property management, you can become an appraiser, you can do BPOs, you can do so many different things. Heck, even if you wanted to just wait three years and then become a real estate broker, you could just do flat fee service listings, which has nothing to do with sales at all. It's basically all marketing. So in a nutshell, there's so many different ways you can make money in real estate. There's really no excuse to say that I don't like it because it almost has more ways to make money than any other industry out there. And it's the lowest cost industry to get into considering how high our commission payments are. And for anyone who's out there lost, has no idea what to do, I, trust me, I've been there. And to give you a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, I was in the middle of working a full-time job, quitting it to give real estate a shot. I dropped out of school and I just gave it my all. Look guys, if you give any ounce of professionalism in this industry and just generally have a hard work ethic, you're going to make six figures plus in real estate, hands down. And if you subscribe to this channel and smash that like button, you're gonna make even more money because I'm gonna teach you more ways that you can make money and systems that you can implement in your own real estate business to drive up your commission sales and ultimately not make you work those insane hours. So really just subscribe down below and check out the other videos. I promise you, it'll help you. But there you have it. Those are the top reasons why you should become a real estate agent in 2020. If you have any questions or you're on edge, leave it down in the comment section below. I will do my best to reply to them and give you my personal opinion. And if you haven't already, check out my other videos up here, link down in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.